Golden morning, I'm Midas. I'm Linda. And welcome to everybody's favorite fantastical morning show, Legends Rising. <laughs> I thought you were good. We're back uh, with some, some exciting news. This week we're doing our first theme week. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exciting. Uh, and in honor of our favorite um, federal holiday, Labor Day, <laughs> we're going to be having Labor Week. So... We're going to be yeah. doing odd jobs around the house for <laughs> no yeah. apparent reason. Yeah. And that's how we celebrate it. Yeah, it's a fun celebration. And speaking of which, um, today we have a letter, as always, from one of our initiated loyal fans. Uh, his name is Samuel Gompers. Um, and Mr. Samuel Gompers, Gompers, what a cool last name. Samuel Gompers writes in and says, hey, I'm the president of a pretty popular labor union. And... <laughs> Me and my fellow union mates love Labor Day. It's our favorite federal holiday. Wow, we have something in common. And <laughs> because of that, I'd like to know, what are cool, quirky things that we could do for a Labor Day party that would set us aside from all of the other unions? So today on Legends Rising, quirky party ideas for Labor Day. Hey, huh. I was looking for the remix. Turn my life better than original. Spaceships pulling up on Venus. See the young god in the physical. Fuck what they say, really? I'm a beast in all formats. Way over there, blind for the sun when you stare rare. Cause I'm looking for the remix. Welcome back to Legend Driving. I've been sitting here having a query as to why I introduced Labor Day parties like it was Halloween. <laughs> I felt like I was very, like, eh, you know? Okay. So we're here today to help Samuel Gompers out with Labor Day party ideas. Um, so what are some Labor Day party ideas? What a mouthful for Samuel Gompers. Mendes? Pitch a tent. Pitch a <laughs> Wait, what kind of tent are we talking about here? I don't know. Whatever you want it to I be. I mean, well, my mind instantly went to wholesome activity with the whole family where you take your kids outside and you get a couple of... That's what I meant. Nails? Make a family. Just make a family inside the tent. Maybe. That's how I have an eight person tent, so there's plenty of room. That's how hippies are born. Somebody tells I don't think so. some kid with I think long that's hair, how goths are born. Go make a family inside the tent. Because their hippie ass parents are You're going right. to make babies, and then they're like, ooh, I hate my Well, baby. I don't know. I feel like if we go by just based solely on Eminem lyrics, um, yeah, kids embarrass their parents to live in the Elvis. Then we have to assume that all golfs come from Elvis loving parents. I'm assuming the hippie parents is just breed stoners. Okay. Right? Um hey, but Petunia, hippies come are. Here. Uh, I don't know. Right, right. I don't know. Um We'll test this out later. We'll look into the uh what is it called? When like your chromosomes, the study of chromosomes and how they like evolve. Genetics. I feel like I'm trying to say something else. Like when you make a chart to see what it would be passed on to the kids, those are called phylogenetic charts. No, that doesn't make sense. What are they? You know what I'm talking about. Hereditary. I'm not gonna tell you. Hereditary charts? Sure. Sure. Hereditary studies. We can do <laughs> hereditary studies. Hey, Samuel, or anybody else out there Sam, looking to Sammy. have quirky Labor Day party ideas, why don't you try? Having a ruin your white clothes party. So it's like an all white party where everybody wears our white, but you can't wear it after Labor Day. So you just get together and destroy their clothes. Yeah, like it was like one of those graffiti parties where you paint on white clothes, but they bring all their white clothes and change consecutively into every outfit. And you just get to destroy it. And you can throw mud, throw paint, blood. Well, I've seen this one. Fire. Fire. Set it on fire. That's a good idea. Speaking of fires. Or just don't own white clothes because what's the point? Especially once Labor Day passes. Speaking <laughs> of fires, what if you make a minor grill? A minor grill? Yeah. Instead of a major grill? <laughs> or a minor grill. No, a minor grill is like to represent for laborers and our, our one of my favorite laborers oh, are miners. So you just take the mining tunnel really and you turn it into a grill like you just light all that charcoal on fire and cook meat right outside of the hole of the mine you could just 
throw a dynamite down there and hold your stake out and hope for the best. Wow. Maybe add so some you took Chilean away their jobs peppers. by appreciating them? Maybe add some Chilean peppers. <laughs> I understand. That's so stupid. Uh, Do you have other ideas? You can also have a red, white, and blue party where all that is consumed is red, white, and blue. Okay. So German people. And all the meat is raw. So you stay with like the red. <laughs> Were the German people the white? Well, like is that they're, the color white? they're white with blue eyes and they have red meat. So I was just thinking like so, yes, that makes the most have, sense. Have a party representing American workers, such as American workers in the auto industry, by inviting nothing but Germans. Of course, we appreciate the Germans for creating jobs for women. <laughs> we appreciate the Germans for their cars outselling ours and uh, giving Making people us really have to find more opportunities for labor. Bootstrap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta tighten those bootstraps extra tight now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I like it. It's a good idea. Have a red, white, white with Germans. <laughs> what if this could happen at any party, including at your German party? What if you hire the Instead of having a bouncer or a doorman, you just have people picketing outside. Picketing? Yeah, so you have a picket line. So everybody that comes to your party has to cross the picket line. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good way to represent for laborers out there. You could, um, like, pick your favorite profession within the, like, laborers category. Kind of, yeah, large category. And... Get with all your friends and you all choose your favorite laborers and you go Ooh. do those jobs. Like, don't ask. Oh, wait. Okay, don't so it's not a costume party. Just it? go. <laughs> you celebrate your laborers by laboring for them. Okay. All right. I'm super with this. Uh, what What would be the laborer that you would go do their job? Like, what I'd be a your, carpenter, duh. A carpenter? Just immediately? Yeah. Um, I like the smell of fresh sod wood. I think I'd be more like Daredevilish and go for maybe a like pipe worker, iron fitter, like one of the guys that are up on the a scaffolds. Pipe fitter? Uh, pipe fitter or iron worker. Get up on those scaffolds and climb to the top. I don't think that's all they do. I mean, no. I'm but pretty I, sure that's not all they do. I specifically so you just want to be Robin from Batman. <laughs> oh, could I could I apply to be an acrobat? Specifically an acrobat's uh, family who's going to get shot tragically. They got shot? I thought that they just fell um, from... Right. In some comic book, they made it so the Joker was the one who shot the ropes and they careened. To well, the, the Joker was the one that took the nets out in the movie. Ah, uh, that's what it was. Or no, Two Face. Ah, okay. Two Face, because yeah, right. he was the ring leader. Leader. No, that's not what they're called. The ring leader of the circus. Is that what they're called? This is definitely what they're called. Okay, whatever. Um, what if you just go to work? <laughs> but that's a party and it never you lazy work. bastard exactly yeah. <laughs> like, go, or, go to work and specifically make it a party if if you don't love your job and to want to go in on Labor Day you're not in the right career yeah just every day every day celebrate your laborous Oompa Loompa Appreciation Day I think that's a great one yeah because they're slave laborers yeah and nobody ever takes a moment out to just thank them can we if we're gonna really have a great Labor Day party let's do Let's do our best Oompa Loompa face and, <laughs> and just have a party celebrating everything about Oompa Loompa culture. Um, I'm thinking full on cultural appropriation here where like how people do Cinco de Mayo parties and they put on uh, some burros. Let's take that and just have orange skin, have like the Oompa Loompa outfits on, get green hair. Don't ask I'm them, can you this. touch their hair when you invite them? Uh, I'm not with this at all. <laughs> just... Just get get all up in there and just feel the strange texture of an open lopez hair. I think that's that's a suggestion. See how that works out for you. Tell your tell your job you're gonna have an open lopa party. Oompa lopa appreciation day. Invite your boss and your HR director. Karen. Karen. Her name is always or Pam. Karen Pam. Samantha. Anne. Shan Sh Chandra. 
I was gonna, I was gonna say Chandelisa. I don't know, like Chandelisa. You, Chandel <laughs> you HR director. What if you have a factory theme party? So it's a theme party, but you design. But you guys awesome are design. all assembled in a line. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the entire yeah. time. Oh, that's and you super can only cool. talk to the people oh that are God. across from you. I didn't think about it that far. I was thinking of just people coming to your house and they get the ambiance of factory, like noise and certain smells. But what if literally the entire party was an assembly line? So if you want chips, it would be like on the conveyor belt and you gotta like assemble your nachos like as they <laughs> <laughs> just, I love Lucy style, super fast, just like, -ha -ha! and then the conveyor belt will go faster and faster. So like when you want people out of your party, you can be like, if you, if you want the aux court, it's like a full setup to where there's the laptop that comes by. You got to get the hard drive connected. You got to get the Bluetooth speaker. Then you got to get another piece. Get the CD. Ooh, I got it. Okay. You can buy a new house. And then invite all your friends over and have a DIY, D, D, Do DIY, what you say. DIY, Do, Do what you say. DIY party and be like, we're celebrating laborers today and then just make them fix your house. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Free labor. <laughs> uh, that is, that is the most amazing party I've ever heard of. I wanted. <laughs> Go to that. Uh, we should trade. We're trademark, trademark, verbal copyright, no take backs. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, hopefully, we today have given you some great quirky ideas uh, for things you can do for Labor Day. Um, and I don't know, just try some of them out. Tell us in the comments uh, how they work for you, or even uh, what part of you did try. Then next year, we can suggest again once we get to Labor Week. Uh, speaking of Labor Week, look forward to next episode of Legend Rising. It'll eventually be up there in the like, corner. Um, and check it out. It'll be uh, Career Paths of the Future. That's exciting. Um, so leave a like, subscribe, and uh, check out our other shows. Yeah. Anything else? Um, farewell. Uh -huh. To you, my friend. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm not gonna start singing that. Wasn't no, I'm not even gonna ask you on camera. <laughs>